يا صاحبي صيف شفت كنت بالسيارة عطاني ملل و asking support from our sheikh صاحب الصيف الشيخ عبد الكريم الكبري سيارة عطاني to send us something that is necessary for us to speak and to listen we are here to learn we are not here to prove to each other how much we know we are here to understand how much we don't know and to try to become better believers we are here in the last few days of the safar to sit as a believer to understand what kind of a mess this world has gotten itself into what kind of a mess this ummah has gotten itself into what kind of a mess the muslims themselves they are into what kind of a confusion and a fitna that we have never seen before and in these times of fitna what is our lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the mouth of his holy prophet alayhi salatu wasalam warning us how is he warning us what is he saying that we have to do how to prepare in these times because there is confusion everywhere from young to old not knowing identity from believer to unbeliever not being sincere and not knowing who they are why they are created and for what reason from individuals to regimes not understanding why we live for what kind of world we are trying to build here and whose laws that we are holding high from males to females from young to old we have lost our identity and losing this identity is making us to fall deeper into a mess that cannot be fixed you cannot fix this mess the mess that we have gotten ourselves into oh, blame allah Allah has sent enough help. Allah has sent enough prophets, enough holy books, enough holy people. Allah has given each and every one of us intelligence. He has given us faith and he has given us modesty, manners. Modesty is manners to know how to balance everything. But really, in this ayah zaman, Jibreel alayhi salam has come down and has taken away everything. There's no more intelligence. There's no more faith. Modesty? Oh, what modesty? If you have manners, if you have modesty in these days, they're saying you're the most backward people. People who have no idea of how to live in this modern world modern world this is a world filled with barbarism there is a world filled with complete tyranny and oppression this is not a world that we can look to with hopeful eyes through the works of man unless that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to send us from amongst ourselves to but coming from divine coming with divine authority to come to save us from this mess there are so many saying what are you doing don't even hope this world is going to get worse and worse there are some who are saying 
because of that we must stand up and we must run to try to change something don't just sit and ask Allah you must do something we understand the people of no faith they are saying that but now people of faith that they are saying people calling themselves Muslims that they are saying then it is showing that you completely you don't understand the world that we're living in you don't understand the world that we are living in and you don't understand how Allah and his Prophet والسلام, how they figure in this world that we're living in you think that the world that we're living in it is just left up to us that there is no connection to the Ahirat that we are the ones who is going to decide what to do if you think that way no matter how much you pray every day you've already committed a very big wrong thinking <laughs> saying that Allah is not connected and Allah is not the one who is going to be responsible to change the situation in this world so the Muslims are not believing this they're not understanding the signs of the Ahir Zaman. They're not understanding the books and the words of the Prophet They're not understanding and believing in the Awliya Allah who are showing the condition of this world and how to live in the condition of this world right now and what to hope for and what to aim for. If you're not understanding the situation, you're not connected how you can give advice. You're not giving advice, you're part of the problem that time. You're not giving the solution from individuals to organizations to regimes which Islamic government holding up their hands to say Ya Rabbi send us that one who is going to come to fix this problem because they still believe we are the ones who can fix this problem you cannot you cannot fix this problem Ibn Allah, they are saying, if the whole world gets together, if all the regimes, they get together to try to fix this problem, you cannot because this Allah has already given this world to the hands of Dajjal and to the tyrants. You cannot fix it. You cannot sit back. You cannot sit back and to be in the system. No. You pull back and you say, I'm not going to be in this system and I'm going to prepare myself to wait. That is what is permissible and that is what is the uh, advice that is given by the Holy Prophet 1400 years ago. But they've already destroyed our connection to the Prophet. Month of the Prophet is going to enter, who knows how much uh, words, how many mm, uh, fighting and debates going to go on and on to continue talking. Maulud or not Maulud? Nonsense. Those who are participating is nonsense. They are participating in Malayani. You want to celebrate Prophet's birthday? Celebrate. You don't want to celebrate? Who cares? You are going to care, but we are not the ones who are going to care too much for you. You don't want to celebrate, it is up to you. Don't celebrate. But those who are celebrating too, why are you celebrating? For what reason are you celebrating? Why are we celebrating? We're remembering, yes. We're happy to remember, yes. But why are we celebrating? Is there something to celebrate? Looking at the condition of the Ummah now, is there something to celebrate? Or should we come and should we cry to the Prophet ﷺ to say, Ya Rasulullah, send us your help. Let's put a challenge there. All these maulids and mega maulids, come together, raise your hand and say, Ya Rasulullah, we're asking you to bring down the tyrants. All these mega mauluds that you're gathering, thousands of people, say, Ya Rasulullah, bring down the tyrants and send the Mahdi alayhi salam now. Impossible, they're going to say. 
So what you say? You're just singing to feel good. But the one that the Prophet ﷺ cared so much for is still suffering. He is not caring so much even for his family. He is caring for the Ummah. In the day of judgment, even his family is going to ask for revenge. But he's saying, Ya Fatima, today is the day of forgiveness and mercy and shafat, not revenge, because he is the prophet of mercy. Because Allah is going to show, yes, that sifat of himself through his prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam. Rahman and Rahim. The sifat of Rahman, only one sifat. One part of that name, it is shown. Only one part of that name, it is divided to show the mercy and the compassion and the kindness in this world and the next. Only one part. When you see the Animals, they are loving their young ones. When you see humans being kind to each other, when you see in nature and in everything, there is mercy and kindness that is only coming from less than one part of the name of Allah of Rahman. 99 parts, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, I'm reserving it to show to you, to us, on the day of judgment. And the name of Rahim, it is beyond the name of Rahman. And Allah is going to show only on that day. It is a secret that He is keeping until that time. Where is this Rahman? Are we showing Rahman to each other? Are we showing compassionate and mercy to each other? MashaAllah. Everyone is talking about love, 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 love. All you need is love. Yes, so much love in this world. That's why this world is turning into a hell. So don't speak about love. That is finished. What are we doing? Individually, what we are doing. What we are showing in this month that is coming up. What are we showing in this month that is ending? Are we running to pull the mercy of Allah? Are we running to pull the anger of Allah? Heaviness comes, you know. It is a very unusual month. And this year is a very unusual year. Certain heaviness that maybe you never felt before is coming. We should grow up. We should stand up. Every difficulty that is a test for us, that is bringing us closer to our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is not bringing us away from Him. We are not unbelievers. To say the only way we can be close to Allah is if Allah is going to show His mercy. Allah is only going to show His <coughs> favors to us that we are going to come close. The mercy and the favor is just not something that your ego likes. Maybe something that you like, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. In the Holy Quran, it is not good for you. But something that you don't like, that is good for you. This world is in a big mess. Individually, we should not be. Run away from this mess. Run away from the mess that we are making in in our lives. Make our lives to become more simple. Make our understanding to become more simple. Make our relationship with each other to become more simple, more sincere. This is what we are praying for in these days of complete confusion, to run away from that. We are on the top of the mountain to run away from this confusion. Don't bring the dirtiness into the cleanliness of the mountains. 
May Allah forgive me and bless you. Amen. For the sake of Sultan and Awliya and Sahib al Saif. We continue our way. Our way is a caravan of Sahib al Saif. We are happy with it. Our bayat is with him. He has always been with him and will stay that way. After he passed, Shaykh Mawlana says to continue. We never ask for nothing. He says to continue. Again and again he says continue. So we are continuing and we are happy with that. You are happy, come and sit with us. You are not happy, stay far away. As you like. We are not forcing anyone to come. You may bark and keep barking. That's okay. Our caravan continues. May Allah forgive me and bless you. وَمِنَ اللَّهُ تَفِقَ الْفَاتِحَةِ Amen. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Any questions we have? Say it. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yeah. What is the difference between kibir and honor? What is the difference between kibir and honor? Uh, 